Hey guys, welcome back to the layout. So today I've got another how-to video for you. Um, it's actually a follow-up to my previous how-to video. My previous how-to video was converting an old Atheron 50-foot gondola that I found in a box. Uh, I converted the horn hook body-mounted couplers to some knuckle couplers and I actually had to replace the uh, coupler housing, the, the coupler box. Um, so I showed you that in the last video, but I got a request and I thought it was a really good idea to make this follow-up how-to video because um, in another situation uh, you will have truck mounted couplers in the old style. So I found myself an old Bachman boxcar from a, a starter set which has uh, truck mounted cu couplers and in this tutorial I show you how I uh, you know, cut those off, mount some body coupler housings and uh, and go from there so um, it's a little bit shorter than last time which is great um, but anyways let's go ahead take a look at the tools um, and get started okay guys so here we are uh, we've got all of our tools screwdriver we've got some KD couplers I don't know what number these are I actually jacked them off one of Chris's locomotives um, with his permission. You can see they've got the two whiskers to center uh, built right onto the um, the coupler. So I'm not quite sure what number that is, but a really handy feature. We've of course got the coupler boxes, um, glue, knife just like last time, electrical tape. And we have this car here. Now as I said before, it is different. This is a Bachman uh, piece of rolling stock. It is a, a CPU rail box car. Um, it looks as if this was one of the boxcars included uh, in the um, starter sets. Uh, you know, you get kind of the oval and it goes around. It's not perfectly detailed. It's got a little bit. It's kind of nice, but certainly could be better. Um, but what I'm going to do is I wanted to make this tutorial and I could use it on my layout. Uh, maybe worth replacing the trucks. <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and uh, get started. Okay, so uh, first thing we're gonna do is uh, take the base off the actual shell. All right, so again, just simple Bachman shell. We're gonna put that aside and we have the base. Small little weight in here. Then I basically wanna flip it over. <clears throat> so in this case, there are screws holding the trucks in place. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's a screw right here. In some cases there will be a plastic dowel. Um, either way, let's take this out. There we go. And then the truck just lifts right off. Very, very similar to the other video. Now, in this case, if I... Uh, you can see the small support beams uh, that the mold has left. Um, it, it's actually part of the mold, it's meant to be. But that is going to uh, cause our coupler boxes to be on an angle and we don't want that. So I'm actually going to cut them out because the coupler boxes is going to be, uh, are gonna be there anyways. I'm just trying to get the shot. So all I'm doing is cutting down to the base of the mold and then kind of peeling back until it's flush and if it's not perfect there we go uh, don't worry about it but you want to try to get it as good as possible and you might have to take a couple passes like I'm doing you know That's pretty good. Nothing to complain about there. So, basically, now that's fairly level. If you're really worried about it, you can sand it down or something, but I'm, I'm not worried about that whatsoever. So, <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna just put that aside. And we've got our coupler boxes. Now, again, I'm going to be chopping off the screw slash nail holes on each side because I am not using them. Um, and they also restrict the truck rotation so that you don't get 
as great of a turning angle basically makes it so that it's harder for the car to take smaller radius curves and I'm just gonna oh, it's not in the shot I guess I'm just doing the box the other side of the box done okay now uh, I'm going to get a piece of my electrical tape guys watched my last video you know that this is like the method I love two strips of the electrical tape I guess I should probably put the thing together first so this so this is the front right there we're going to now this is tricky um, with these I find that I can get the shot because of the whiskers I like to put it in the box first um, and I kind of just line it up flush and then push it back and line it up as best I can with the hole and then I just kind of feed the top part through the hole now, well this is obviously easier said than done I another method I tend to use um, is putting the coupler on the top upside down of course and then if I can let's try it's hard to get to the camera my big hands not in the way that's for sure so I'm just holding it the coupler is there and we just kinda take the box and slide it in okay and it kinda fits right there and we know that the springs are working so that's awesome and um, because I don't cut anything we're gonna go ahead and use the tape I don't have my tweezers today I just noticed we're just wrapping the tape around the coupler box just to keep the coupler box together so that things don't fly out because really you don't want to get any glue in there and considering I chopped off the sides if you glue it it's probably gonna get in there that's gonna be a bad time so oh, furnace is off just got real quiet and just a strip at the front same thing, just right. Oh, wrapping the coupler box doesn't have to be perfect, it's just to hold. Oh, this tape isn't very sticky today. There we go, it's just to hold it. Okay, so there it's taped, it's taped together. All right, so it's not going anywhere now get this back and basically what I like to do is just set it set it there oh. now it's a little top heavy I guess so I may have to hold it so let's rotate it so you can see and actually you still can't see hmm. okay what about if I do it with this hand all right well not quite <laughs> well I guess what we can do um, is we can put a little dab of glue there just to hold it. I mean, it's going to go there anyways. I just kind of wanted to test, but this glue, um, we have some time before it dries. So I'm just going to spread some glue there. doesn't have to be a ton. It's pretty decent stuff, especially plastic to plastic. All right. And we're just going to center that up. And I'm just going to make sure... And there. So it's just the glue. Make sure it's straight and centered. It will take a little bit to dry. So let's just kind of chill out, wait for this to dry, and then. Uh, We'll be back. 
Okay guys, so I kind of forgot about it, so it's been a couple hours, everything's nice and dry, you can see the spring still works, which is very important because if I would have gotten glue in there, you'd pro pro pretty well be out of luck. Uh, so now it's time to take the coupler box off. Um, I mean, realistically, I could have done this right from the get-go because under no circumstance would I be reusing it. Um, I guess my brain was just like, oh, keep it on there just in case, but, uh, <laughs> now, so, went ahead, just took, took the wheels off, we're gonna just take out this, uh, horn hook coupler here, it's just held in by a small screw, which is now gone, <laughs> no, no big deal, alright, and, uh, well, I think the best part is I'd like to clip it about this way, um, to to allow it to rotate. So this uh, now let's see. I'm gonna zoom out just a smidge, and uh, you never know there could be blood. <laughs> and bas I'm just cutting across and putting a little bit of force, just like this. All right, and you can see it's already starting to to give. And I'm not real worried about. <sighs> there we go. Um, you know, if I, if I were to cut it unevenly, I really don't care. Um, so I'm just going to basically uh, flatten that up. And I'm just going along and you know, cutting off any excess stuff. Make it nice. Flush so it doesn't catch on anything. Uh, that's pretty good. Good. Okay, so now I'm not going to replace these with metal wheels just yet. Um, probably ever. Oh, a big hairball there. Um, just because it's like a $2 box car. Um, you can dress it up, but you can't, uh, <laughs> you know, to a certain extent, I'm not going to waste good metal wheels. You know, if it was like my vintage Atherns, that's different because they're pretty good quality, I'm pretty happy with them, um, and these work anyways, okay, so, we put it on, um, I guess it really doesn't matter which way, and you can see that turns a fair bit, uh, you know, when, when they're both going to be, um, on both trucks, then we can do a test on the layout, but, uh, I'm sure that they will, oh, sorry, uh, I'm sure that they will work fine. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not too worried. We'll do a test when I'm done the other side. And just screw that back in. Perfect. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, then we'll test it on layout. Okay, so we're up here on the layout. So... There's really the th well the two big items, my two the snap switch crossover here. Uh, that's gonna that's a big problem because that's actually pretty tight. Uh, and then the inside of my Pico curve switches are 18 inch. Um, other than that, like 18 is the uh, well I've got some 15s but uh, they're not completely cut. So really, 18s pretty well the smallest I've got so excuse my big giant hand like super easy no problems good okay and we're just gonna follow along down here awesome switch that oh yeah no problem no problem whatsoever. Actually just snagged that box car train. Cool. Yeah, so that works perfect. Um, no problems at all. You can see if I zoom in nice and good on that. Uh, the coupler height is like perfect. <laughs> so uh, that's great. I mean, typically when you're doing stuff like this, the coupler height isn't an issue. But uh, I find if, you know, the odd time there are. I mean, typically what, what I ended up doing is I, I put the boxcar on the layout beforehand and uh, 
and, and, and judged it, but you can always, uh, like in my last video, kind of put something under it to make it um, higher, lower, that kind of stuff. Um, and with this method, method with the glue, basically, while it's still kind of wet, kind of dry, you can test it and you still have time to work. Worst case scenario, you pull it off, put something under it, you know, re-glue it. And that's why I like glue. Um, I mean, screws are great too, but, you know, then you're drilling into things and uh, you're kind of affecting the integrity of the, the chassis, which in some cases isn't a big deal whatsoever, but in others, I, I, I worry. So, um, anyways, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, let's go ahead, put the shell back on this puppy. Wow, I'm not... Uh... I guess, I bet you my 10 year old self, there we go, I was going to say, I bet you my 10 year old self could kick my butt at that, and uh, we'll just get this on there. So, and just like that, again, uh, in the video it, it really takes me longer, but in real life that would take me about 10 minutes. <laughs> and uh, I have another boxcar. So that's awesome guys. Uh, so thanks for watching. Um, I will be coming out with another how-to video shortly on the tour to switch machines and I want to kind of do a bunch of reviews on the local motors I've got. I actually just sold my Bowser C630M today uh, and that's been shipped out. So uh, excited about that. I will not be filling its spot at least anytime soon. I've got the four locomotives. So I will be doing reviews on those shortly uh, with, you know, prototypical information to judge off of. Um, like I said, the Torta Switch Machine how-to. And I think it's going to be about time to do the just kind of generic layout update. Um, you know, couple new cars, selling things, buying things. Um, I think it's time. So... Uh, stay on a lookout for that, and uh, until next time, thank you for watching, guys. Any comments, criticisms, questions, please put down below in the comments section. If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like. And if you're not and you want to be, don't forget to subscribe. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks for watching, and until next time, enjoy your bacon.